bitch. Before I say hello, you guys just check out this glow. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back. Or you should be saying welcome back to me. It's been like five months, maybe six months now. I would just like to welcome all my new subscribers. Oh my god, 800 bitch, what? Y'all stuck by my side even though I wasn't there. I'm a cry. Hey girl. In this video, we are going to be talking about, of course, my stats of my VSG surgery. How I'm doing, where I've been, um, all this crazy shit. Before we start, and by the way, my eyelashes aren't acting right today, so Bitch, don't come for me in my comments. Speaking of comments, you guys need to stop coming for me. You old ladies who be watching me be like, oh, you need to stop all that cussing. Cussing ain't cute. Well, guess what, bitch? I ain't trying to be cute because I'm already cute. <laughs> bitch. And you girls, like, have something to say about my hair. Like, people go through their stages of, like, awkward and weird and shit. Like, let them bitches be because guess what, bitch? I look good now, Donna. It was just a stage. So let's talk about stats, guys. It's almost been 11 months since surgery. That means next month it's gonna be a year. Oh my god! Like it's a, it was just like yesterday. There's a fly in my room. I used to be 200 and dun, 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 294 pounds. Mm. I thought it was cute, but like, my current weight now is 179. And I'm not trying to lose any more weight, to be honest. Around May 15, I reached Wonderland, or maybe a week before that, because I remember I took a selfie, this selfie right here, and on my Instagram saying, boom, bitch, this is what Wonderland looks like, ho. And yeah, I'm very sorry that I did not keep up, but I, went, uh, I was distracted and I'll tell you about that in a minute. It took me six months to lose 100 pounds, which is not bad at all, which is very, very unhealthy. And it, it explains how I feel now. And I'm getting to that. These are a timeline of Snapchats of when I was losing weight with the months because I can't keep up. <laughs> much lost the weight by distraction aka I had a shitty ass boyfriend I was not eating enough um, I'm still not eating enough I feel weak all the time every time I stand up I am like lightheaded as shit oh my god my mom will shut up I do graze sometimes and it's usually on really bad food but the bad food does not affect me at all because like I'm not getting enough food on most days and sometimes, well, I mean, sometimes I gain weight, but it's automatically dropped probably like three days later or maybe even the next day. I don't think I'm lucky at all because I feel like shit. Recently I've been craving sweets. I want to go suck on a Jolly Rancher right now or like eat some fucking caramel thingies with the little cream, caramel creams. Ugh. My bone's been poking out a lot, as you can see. From 294 to 179, I have lost 115 pounds. Now, I'm not saying I did it healthily, not at all. I wish I would have lost it a little bit slower because I just feel like shit all the time. I'm not taking any vitamins, I'm not working out. And the reason why I'm not working out is because during the summer, I helped my dad remodel the house. Yes, I moved back with my parents. Long story, long ass motherfucking story. I got in a fight with my roommate. <laughs> um, mentally, I am still depressed for different personal reasons. If I had my life together, I'd probably be a happy ass bitch. Um, I'm not getting any kind of like 
body dysmorphia at all. Like, at all, girl. And I think the reason is because back when I was in high school, I was smaller. And then I had gained weight. And when I was smaller in high school, I had the worst body dysmorphia. I was literally like an anorexic ass bitch trying to like be more anorexic. And my mental has changed and grew from that. And once I was back big, I was like, fuck. And I thought that my body was ugly when I was skinny. No, I don't know, no, not at all. So I'm, I'm skinny as fuck now, shit. I'm not trying to lose any more weight because look at my bones. I'm I'm only 5'7 and my bones look like this. Like I can't imagine what I, my bones would look like if I was like fucking 160 pounds, which I mean, I don't look bad as 179. If I went down to 160, I feel like my skin would just get even more saggy and ugly and I just look the same. I am gonna be making a pros and cons video about this surgery. I want you guys to go in my comment section right now or my Instagram or my Snapchat and I, and ask me questions because I'm gonna be doing a Q&A next. Even though y'all ask me the dumbest fucking questions, I love y'all still. <laughs> Life update, reason I've been gone, back in maybe March, my fucking hard drive broke and I had a video on there about to post it and my Mac, I had to take it to Mac. It was like two months until I could actually use my computer. Second, I got a scary ass stupid boyfriend, but bitch, it's all good now. Maybe one day I'll do a story time with his ass because he's a piece of shit. I moved out back to my parents' house because I got in a fight, blah, 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 over some stupid ass shit. Maybe story time on that too, I don't know. Also, I've been just lazy as fuck and depressed as hell. That's the main reason why I didn't record a video because I've been depressed as fuck. And all I do is sleep and munch on some chips. Also, any positive things happening to me? Besides me losing over 100 pounds, um, I got two new kitties. Shit, I broke my fan! This is Buggy, and this is Salem. Oh, uh, I was just like, I wanna show you guys my body a little bit. I do have a lot of saggy skin. My saggy skin is out of control, bro. My arm, man, it's like, I could fly away than this bitch, like. <laughs> um, I don't wanna show you guys my real, my actual stomach because I'm not ready for that, but these are my scars. Let me put my titties over. <laughs> these are my scars, they turn into keloids, so if you're getting a surgery, take care of your scars because you're gonna end up like me. A fucking keloid ass bitch. This is a eczema rash, so don't mind that. Um, this one didn't turn into a keloid, but this one, these it's all did. Um, this is my back. I got one roll left, y'all. One roll left. <laughs> my thighs are pretty still jiggly. Um, I'm super super saggy right here. But trust me guys, finding a man is not gonna be an issue when you got saggy skin. I kinda think they like it, cause like they got more like cushion to the like lay on or something. Um, I have no ass. I have no butt at all. Which is fine. That's my fault. <laughs> so my titties aren't that saggy. Um, go on my Instagram and there is actual an actual picture of my tit and the nipple and all on there. You'll find it, go like it. <laughs> I also got a lot of tattoos. My parents kind of freaked out about it. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, don't forget to comment in the comment section what you guys want to be in my Q&A question. Ask me questions, girl, Q&A coming up. I just wanna thank you guys for watching and being so patient with me. Like, my life is just tumbling down like an avalanche. It's like me going down that escalator, like it's just like going down. It. I wish I could just tell you guys all of it, but I can't, cause it's just too personal, and I just don't feel like talking about it, cause it makes me a little depressed or whatever. But it's okay. Everyone goes through their life trials, and everyone gets through it all. Sometimes. I just want to again thanks all you guys for you know sticking by my side and supporting me and. I'll see y'all in a week because bitch, I'm doing my Q&A in a week. So comment 
Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram because I post more on there because it's very convenient. My weight loss Instagram is at thick to slim thick. Bougie bitch Instagram <laughs> is lick my thick. Uh... <laughs> okay, guys, bye.